Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian gamer. And today I'm bringing you some gameplay from Battlefield Bad Company 2. In this particular match, I actually go 15 and 5, so it's one of my better ones, to put it that way. What I really wanted to bring up, though, is um, Black Ops, really. And ironically enough, I'm not playing Black Ops. Uh, the reason is mainly because I'm getting a little bit fed up with the problems in Black Ops. I mean, I really, I want to love that game. I really want to just love it. But the problem is, there are so many issues with it that I'm kind of just getting fed up. The, the novelty of a new game and a new experience is wearing off and now I'm really just starting to get annoyed by the game and its flaws. I mean, when I play games, I have PlayClaw, my recording software, which I've previously talked about, running in the background. And up in my left hand corner, it always shows the current frames per second, how many frames is generated per second. And when I enter the menu, it drops. The FPS drops. So, w when I'm just in the regular me uh, multiplayer menu, I can see it dropping from like 60 frames per second to 14, to 0, to 14, to 20, to 30, to 60. So it kind of just drops. And I may click one of the menu items and it will actually the game will actually freeze for a second or two before it actually opens the menu item and the, it has some actually some really nice transitions also in the menu as you all might have noticed noticed if you play black ops but on the pc version those may lag or those may freeze even it may freeze mid transition and then just unfreeze when the transition is done or without continuing the transition and just blinking to the right uh, what should I say, screen if you want and that's just the menu, I mean lately I've had the game crash more often than it, it has ever done before I mean I may s just s play and suddenly in the middle of a match the game just freezes on me and I have to force quit it because it just won't work. And this didn't happen to me at f uh, when I first got the game. It's been the past week and a half or so. Uh, it, it, it's just some of these issues that really annoy me and make me re makes me really turned off uh, uh, playing this game. I mean, these are issues that I've never seen before in a PC game. I mean, as I've said before, I have a pretty decent gaming rig and it's not it's not able to run black ops smoothly and that's just <sighs> I, I can't even put words to it uh, I mean I'm just so annoyed and frustrated with the game right now and as I said the novelty is wearing off so I'm not really caring much for the game anymore and what I've ended up doing is actually playing some Bad Company 2. And I'm really starting to fall in love with this game. I I can't say I did when it first released, but now I'm really starting to love this game. And it's for a particular it's for a few reasons. Um for example, yes we have dedicated servers in Black Ops, but in Bad Company 2 the dedicated servers can be run by anyone. All you have to do is download the, the server server client. That's kind of... Well, anyways. You can download the server client. I believe you have to pay a license to. I'm not really sure. Um, and you can run it on any server you want after that. So we're not tied down to, say, game servers. And the problem with game servers, at least for me as a Nor Norwegian gamer, is that they don't have any servers placed in Norway. The only ones in Scandinavia is Denmark. And while it's not that far away, 
it still leads to a lot more lag than what we would have had here in Norway. Um, the lowest, lowest ping I've seen for a server in Black Ops is 28. And that's not a stable one, that's just one that just drops to that for just a second and then goes back up to like 30 or 40. And this is of course in the server browser. In Bad Company 2, the lowest the servers go there, the lowest ping that they have is 1. 1 millisecond of delay. Of course that's not the real thing when you when you get into this, uh, get into the match uh, or on the server. It will actually go up a little bit, but still, that's that's really low, and it only accounts for like I would say 20, 20 milliseconds of ping or delay when I'm actually playing, instead of a minimum of 60 and working my way upwards. And for example, a friend of mine, he can't play on anything else than. Danish servers because there are some servers located in the Netherlands but the problem with those is that he gets such high pings that it's unplayable he has a ping of I would say 160 and upwards it's just ridiculous I mean seriously I'm just I'm just really getting fed up with that uh, with that game and as I said, I'm really falling in love with this. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm suddenly using these um, these early weapons in each of the in the, the, the medic class, is because I made a new profile with my Hyperlative Nick and started all over just for fun. Because when I came back to this game after over half a year of uh, uh, after being away for a y half a year, I kind of just wanted to. Be what is this? A shotgun from that that distance? What's that? Uh, well, anyways, I wanted to feel like it was a new experience and like starting the game all over again. So that's what I ended up doing. I made a new a new nick and a new profile with a hyperlative nickname and just started over. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. So, as you see, we just won a conquest match. So, that's all for this time. I hope to see you next time. Snackies.